problem that we have is not one of the oil industry, basically. It's a problem of Oklahoma. It's a problem of all the oil producing states. Last year, we drilled 4,000 less wells in the United States than we did a year ago. This year, we will drill 6,000 wells less than we did last year. The tools of the industry are stacked all over the nation, with the result that the drillers, the roughnecks, and the remainder of the people involved in the drilling of oil wells are unemployed. As these people become unemployed, they cease to make purchases at the corner store. They don't need the overalls. They can't buy the food. They can't buy the clothing that they would normally purchase. So this problem is one of national interest and state interest more than simply an oil company problem. In Oklahoma, we procure over 39% of all the taxes that are paid directly from the oil industry. And as our production is reduced, as our employment goes down, we will feel it on every facet of our local government. So what are the advantages of banding together in a common plan? Well, in a reorganization proceeding uh, such as involved in the selected investments, uh, it is advisable, if uh, possible, for as many of the creditors to group together uh, in what we call a creditor's committee. And uh, by that uh, purpose, they get uh, well represented in court by numbers. Also, uh, under a reorganization plan, this committee may submit and suggested plans and work with the trustee in trying to reorganize the corporation for the common benefit of all of the creditors. The specific advantage <coughs> of a group is that it requires about uh, two-thirds of the uh, stockholders or creditors of the corporation to approve a plan of reorganization. So the more you have banded together in one group, the bigger your voice is in the whole proceeding. So you would have a better chance of being heard then? We, we feel that you would have a chance of getting your views over to the court uh, in the matter, yes, sir. Has any group come forward so far other than uh, your own on the uh, selected thing? There's no uh, group of uh, creditors, as far as I know, that have uh, gone together as a creditors committee other than the, the one which uh, Mr. Work Franklin from Ardmore is organizing at this time. Well, that could be possibly as much as 20 or 22 million dollars. What do you have to back up this position, sir? They've published statements and figures. Well, why do you think that they have not taken advantage of the federal funds, the matching of the federal funds? I can't tell you. I you know no reason why they should not. You also said something about uh, this, some of this practice might be unconstitutional. Would you elaborate on that, sir? I think spending money that you don't have and you don't have the prospect of getting within a reasonable period of time is a violation of the Constitution of this state. Well, in, all, in your own opinion, does this uh, uh, say that we might have some trouble later on or not? I don't think there's any question about what you're going to what have trouble later. What trouble do you think we might run into? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But do you have an idea what kind of trouble it might be? I said we would just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, what's the biggest change you've seen since the early days? The way the women dress. The way the women dress? Yes, the way the women dress. Well, you think it's uh, uh, for, the, for the better or for the worse? For the worse. Why is that? Well, it, it, don't, it don't appeal to these 89ers. What about this, the Here, here's the way they used to dress. What about the sack dresses? What do you think of them? I don't like them. You don't like them at all? No, I don't like them, no. What about you, sir? What impresses you most? Well, I think the way the people get napped in the air. 
that uh, used to be, uh, when I was young, we never got up in the air. It's transportation, you might say, and I'm going to like the ladies as a uh, women's wear the dress dinner, and I guess the men do too. I don't see much difference that way. But I had uh, the transportation. I come down the Chisholm Trail in a covered wagon. There wasn't a bridge in 185 miles. Now it's all paved, and you, you can make as much in an hour and hours as we could in three days with a covered wagon. Well, airplanes, I guess. Airplanes? Mm -hmm. When I rode them, I went up. Yeah. Oh, everything, everything. Everything. The world is different from what it used to be. What about transportation? Transportation is easy nowadays. We didn't have to go in a wagon and team and wagon. <laughs> Medical aid. Medical? Yeah. Anything in particular you have in mind? Well, I've learned to, to cure so many different diseases during that time, which polio and different things like that. What's that? Oil. Oil? Yeah. Has it really made a big change? Yeah, I think it has. made a big change in the country since I come in here. Mr. Stahl, what is bad about this outdated situation? Well, actually, uh, from the standpoint of equity, uh, we are still uh, sending money back to uh, the counties, uh, which have uh, reduced their road mileage to a great extent. They're still getting the same amount of money that uh, uh, they did when the laws were originally enacted. Other counties, which have uh, increased the uh, amount of mileage on their present system, uh, are uh, being handicapped because they are not, uh, that's not taken into consideration. Uh, at, for example, in McCurtain County has added 249 miles to their county road system uh, since 1947, yet they are getting the same amount of allocation on mileage that they did before that uh, uh, mileage was added. Uh, you might take the case of uh, Pittsburgh County, which has actually uh, reduced the number of county uh, road miles uh, by 612 miles, yet they're still getting money to uh, maintain and, and uh, construct that mileage. So it's uh, decidedly inequitable. Well, I think that is largely due to the fact that there's never been an analysis made of this situation until uh, this one which we have released today. Uh, and uh, it's my uh, considered guess that a great many of these legislators are not aware of the fact that their counties are uh, being discriminated against by using uh, 1947 uh, mileage. I understand that uh, the Public Expenditures Council is taking it upon itself to inform the legislators about this. Uh, that's right. We're sending a copy of this report to every member of the legislature and also to all county commissioners in the state. 